Okay, we're going to do some supplemental class work as these YouTube uh, screencasts. So hopefully this will be under five minutes. Let's just talk a little bit more about namespaces that we covered in the first seminar. Um, and this time I kind of want to use a metaphor of using cities and states. So if I tell you to go to, say, Salem, you're not going to know what I mean. Do I mean Salem, Oregon? Do I mean Salem, Massachusetts? Do I mean Salem and, and some other state? So if I use the um, namespace resolution operator uh, for a state and I said OR colon colon Salem well you'd know I mean now you're gonna go to the Oregon namespace and go to that Salem uh, if I meant Massachusetts I'd have a different uh, namespace MA colon colon so that's how we would do it in uh, C++ where the cities of course would be our functions and uh, we will use namespaces in our own code we talked a little bit about the using statement and that if you don't specify STD, you're not going to get those functions that are in the standard library. Everything written for the standard library ends up in the STD um, namespace. And we also real, uh, learned that you don't have to say STD colon colon or Oregon colon colon Salem every time. You can say using namespace OR. And this is convenient and it's nice, but the problem is every city in Oregon is now available to you. So when you want to specify a different city um, in a different state, you have to contend with that. And sometimes you get functions you didn't mean to get because you brought everything in. Um, so instead you can say, oh, just use Oregon Salem. Every time I say Salem, I mean the one in Oregon. That's what the using statement of this form means. Okay, so you can always do it without a using statement altogether. You can every time you use Salem, you can always put the OR colon colon and specify Salem if you want. So back to the real code. Here we are including IO stream. We have to bring the functions that are in this library into scope. We know they're in the STD namespace. Uh, my preferred way is to, since we're only going to be using C out in this example, is to say using standard colon colon C out. Now for one use, obviously it doesn't save us much, but if we were using it a dozen times, it's a dozen times we don't have to sort of clutter our code up with this standard colon colon everywhere. And you can see, um, so now we don't need standard and I took out the end L and replaced it with a, a literal new line character. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this one, and uh, stay tuned. There's uh, one more trick I, I want to teach you, but we need to get into a few more subjects uh, before I can talk about that.